Hey Astro Kids and welcome back and in today's video we will be going over your August 2021 horoscope. So let's go ahead and jump right into this. So on the screen here I have the transits of August 2021. And as you can see here, we will start off on the 1st of August with the moon position here in the sign of Aries. And we'll talk more about the moon as we move along. We will see a new moon coming up on the 8th of August here in the sign of Cancer. And we will also see a full moon coming up on the 21st of August falling in the sign of Aquarius. Now, along with that, we are continuing to see this transit of Rahu in Taurus. Of course, we won't see that come to a close until 2022. This is a huge karmic focus centered around our security, centered around our comfort, our values, with Rahu pushing us towards this Taurus energy. On the opposite side of that, of course, we see K2 in Scorpio, where there's a lot of internal transformation, a lot of spiritual cleansing and work to do there. And we talked a lot about that with that lunar eclipse that took place in May. We are leading up to another eclipse season, of course, as we are bringing things to a close, moving closer to the month of November. Now, also, we will start off this month of August with Mercury and the Sun positioned there in the sign of Cancer. These both will push forward into the sign of Leo here in the month of August. We'll talk more about that coming up. Of course, the Sun moving into Leo is a huge factor as the Sun feels most at home in the sign of Leo. This is a big shift moving us into a direction of taking charge of our soul's destiny, of our purpose. We will also see this month starting off with Mars and Venus together in the sign of Leo. Now we will see Venus push forward into Virgo, and this will be very important as we do find Venus in its position of debilitation as it starts to shift here into the sign of Virgo. So we'll talk more about that moving forward. Venus, of course, being all about beauty, peace, harmony, love. And as it comes into the sign of Virgo, it has to face the harshness, the reality of life. And so there's a lot of energy that is shifting and changing as Venus comes into this zone of debilitation. Now, we will also see Saturn that is taking place here in Capricorn. And for those of you who follow those extra planets, we will also see Pluto that'll be here in the sign of Capricorn as well. And so there's a lot of focus that is happening on reality, on our responsibilities, our duties, our routine, especially as Saturn is in its own sign of Capricorn. And it is in this retrograde where there's a lot of deep work to go through here as far as looking over our responsibilities, looking over our routine, the things that we are working towards within our lives. Jupiter is also going to be positioned here in Aquarius, and we will eventually see Jupiter shift back into Capricorn before it comes direct. So we'll talk more about that as we are moving forward. Jupiter here in the sign of Aquarius, of course, is a huge focus towards our goals, towards our ambitions, towards what we are headed towards in life. Neptune also there, big in terms of our dreams and our visions. We'll talk more about that moving forward. And along with that, once again, for those of you who are following those three extra planets, we do see Uranus that is positioned there in Aries, where there's a lot of this combustible energy, a lot of chaotic changes that are taking place. And so we will discuss more about these positions and how they will affect your moon or ascendant sign here in the month of August. For Virgo moon or Virgo ascendant, here, starting out on the 8th of August, we will see Mercury shifting back into your 12th house. Mercury is controlling your 1st and 10th house. 
And so this can be a huge time of reflecting on your career, on your image, how you are coming off to others, taking some time to yourself to make sure that everything is in the proper order and that everything is to your liking, how you want it to be in your life. And so even with that first house activation, is your body, is your appearance the way that you want it? Or are there changes that you'd like to make? This is a great time for reflection. And with that 10th house activation, is everything the way that you want it to be in your career, in your responsibilities, in the way that you are pursuing your achievements in life? This is a great time of meditation, of looking inward, and getting some deeper insight into your life, understanding those areas that you need to work on and improve. On the 11th, we will see Venus shifting there into your first house as it comes close to its debilitation. And Venus is here controlling your second and ninth house. Very auspicious. We have a lot of attention that you can gain from the public during this transit. This can be a time where you also are receiving some advice about your fashion, your style, your looks. This can be a big time of dressing up differently, of taking some advice from others around you. And with that second house, focusing on your money, on your spending habits. Venus in the first can give you a strong inclination towards spending, towards gaining the possessions and resources that you want. You also want to be careful, though, with this transit here that you are not overspending that ninth house and second house involved. And so this is a time where you can go overboard with the ninth house being very expansive and this second house being a house of spending. Now, we also see the sun, which is coming here into the 12th house. And so once again, this may be a time where you have to deal with expenses, where you have to manage your finances and your daily routine in the proper way. But this is a great time for meditation, for self-reflection, for going inward. This may be a time where you are thinking about charity, about helping others at this time. If you're working in any sort of healthcare or facilities, this is a great time where you can shine in your career. Sun back here in the 12th house can also point towards a long journey. Once again, Venus is controlling your ninth house as it sits there in the first house. And so this may be a time of enjoying yourself, of retreating from your duties and responsibilities and going on a long trip. Along with that, once again, this can be a time of retreating into a meditative space, taking that time to self-reflect, to go inward. Great time to work on improving yourself at a subconscious level. Once again, having a dream journal, meditating, any sort of activities that can help to slow down your mind and to have that deeper connection can help you tremendously at this time. And so this is ultimately a month of stepping back and taking that time for yourself. So this has been your horoscope for Virgo moon or Virgo ascendant for the month of August 2021. I hope you all enjoyed this. If you like this video, feel free to leave a like as well as a comment. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button along with the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any new content. If you are interested in learning more on Vedic Astrology, I do have a course available in both the Facebook group and here on YouTube through YouTube channel memberships. So if you are interested in that channel memberships, there is a join button below and I will leave a link to the video describing what this is all about and what those channel memberships will include. I will leave the links for everything involving the classes down in the description and down below in the comments as well as above. I want to thank you all so much for joining. I hope you all have a great day and I will see you in the next video.
The card for Virgo Moon or Virgo Ascendant for August 2021 is Scorpio. Once again, this is a huge time of looking within and making the necessary changes to grow, to improve upon yourself, and to reach your desired goals.